Hello Pisces. Welcome to Karma on Deck. I'm Karma of My Psychic One. Let's do your reading for the week of October 30th through November 4th. 5th. November 5th. Happy Halloween to you and inauguration of Mercury Retrograde for the last time this year. Fun, right? Okay, so let's see what's going on with you, darling. Pisces, and I'm a Pisces rising, so I'm going to be paying attention to myself or maybe look at the video later. You know, I've never looked at my videos. I don't watch them. I was told I should critique myself, but I just channel and let it go like Elsa. Okay, kids, here we go. Pisces. Woo! Building a foundation. First thing that comes up is Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands is building a foundation, building a home. Um, we do have the Five of Wands, which is criticism, gossip, um, people talking, about you, around you, to you, etc. Five of Wands backed into a corner. Right now, Pisces, you're feeling as if you've got a lot of shit to do and not enough time to do it. Nine of Coins references um, contracts, signing things, decision making. Nine of Coins, don't be impulsive with your money. You might have a small business expenses or small expenses that are eating away at your finances right now. We do have the Empress. The Empress, though, is all about protecting yourself, protecting your space, protecting your children, your home, and, and being a little bit nurturing toward yourself, your belongings, your family, your loved ones, situations, things like that. It's also a little bit aggressive at times. It's like, I mean it. I said no, right? So let's see, that's your foundation. That's where we're coming from. Page of coins referencing spending money. You're feeling a little over committed and stuck right now. Um, doesn't feel like you can move left or right. Um, you're feeling a little restricted, straight jacket kind of thing. King of cups, good for you. So King of cups is talking about mastery with our emotions, okay? You have the six of coins though. Um, this is an emotional period with Mercury retrograde playing with all of our relationships, our decisions, a little on again, off again. Um, I'm seeing six of coins, which is um, you trying to um, decide what to do with your money next. And you haven't really come to ground with what, you're, what you've chosen to do and how you're going to do the next steps. I do see ace of cups. That's relationship and love. We do have two of those here. So we'll break that open for you in just a minute. Ten of coins. So you've had some behaviors where you haven't made good choices. And this is ten of coins, which is revisiting some of them so that you have an opportunity to get it right. Sometimes we don't have an opportunity to get things right. So take this chance now and gather whatever evidence is necessary for you to make a wise selection of the options that are in front of you. Okay, this might mean a contract, it might mean paperwork, mediation, things like that. I do see the high priestess. So you've got a couple major cards here and I'm liking the high priestess, which tells me your intuition is on fire. And if you've been paying attention, you're going to start seeing a little bit more synchronicities and things coming into alignment regarding your intuition and you'll have a heightened awareness. So if you have a heightened awareness, if you're starting to notice those things, your crown chakra opening up, different things coming in front of your face that you hadn't noticed before, you can see that. I do see the Three of Cups and the Four of Cups. So you have an interesting combination here. You're deliberately going to ground when it comes to family, keeping your circle small. However, despite your best efforts, I am seeing that you're going to be exploring and meeting new people, bringing others into your sphere. However, you're being very careful about it. I know that uh, I have learned some lessons when it comes to bringing people into my inner circle. And I have a desire to go where things are most protected, most loving, most kind. I do see the Eight of Swords, which is you are unable to see out of a solution. I'm sorry, out of a situation right now. So you're feeling a little overwhelmed. When you look at the Eight of Swords, he, unlike this card here, where he's fully committed, feeling like in jail or in a cage, you have the Eight of Swords, which is you just have... You're so close to the situation that you can't see clearly. You can't see the forest for the trees type of thing. So you're not seeing the bigger picture because you're looking at all the finer details. Recommendation for that is take a step back, um, extricate yourself from the situation, even for an hour or a day, shut your phone off, do whatever it takes to get some clarity. Okay. I will pull some cards for you from the Mystic Dreamer deck. So take a look and see what's going on with your relationships right now. Okay. This doesn't necessarily mean love and lovers, but let's take a look and see how you're operating within your relationships. If you want a one-on-one -on -one with me, you know how to do it, karmaondeck.com, or you can come find me on my psychic one. 
Ugh. First thing that you have is the Four of Cups, Pisces. The Four of Cups is about regret. You have so much in front of you right now, but it's not the one thing that you wish or that you want to go back to. So if you have somebody that you're thinking about or um, a situation that you want to revisit, I'm seeing that you're not happy. Um, I do see charity. So, oh, and you guys have commitment. Four of Wands up and coming. King of Wands, Page of Swords. Be careful of impulsive decision making. Hierophants and the Four of Swords. I don't know if that's you that's going quiet, but the Four of Swords I always call my ghost card. The Four of Swords is all about isolation, being quiet, not talking to people, not telling anybody your business. This also might be another individual who is blocking you. I call that my ghosting card, like I was just saying. It's someone going quiet, going silent on the home front, so to speak. Four of Swords isn't a bad place to be. It's Snow White. She doesn't come forward for anybody but the prince, okay? But this is going to um, allow you to have an opportunity to think clearly. And we were just talking about that with the um, Dragon deck. This is a, a learning period for you. Um, this is a time for you to start paying attention to um, pretty much everything. This is like looking at finer details, um, not being so stubborn. This might the hierophant might also mean you know going to higher education. However, it just this is we're talking about relationships right now. But I do see celebration for you, a return of money. You're going to see a surplus of money coming for you. I see the Empress. So here's what's true. You've walked away from a situation, Eight of Cups. So you've left something behind that wasn't beneficial to you. You wanted it to go back either two things, one of two things. You walked away from something to preserve your own heart, dear Pisces. Or you want what you have in front of you isn't what you truly want. So you're walking away from a situation that isn't serving you. The Empress here is telling us it is high time that you did so because you're leaving all of the, like, just because it's beautiful doesn't mean it's good for you. Like, at all. The Eight of Cups is referencing you walking, like this, the fat lady saying she's got her violin out and the song is over. You kind of feel like some things have, de have died and you're not willing to hold on to something that's not growing anymore. Knight of Cups, um, emotions all over the place. I am picking up fatigue for you. You're kind of tired of the same old shit. I am seeing the seven of cups, which is a lot of opportunity. So you have some choices in front of you. They're just not the one that you want. So you're picking them apart. Um, you're frustrated. You don't know which direction that you want to go. Overly emotional right now with Mercury retrograde in is it Scorpio. Um, so, but we do have eight of wands and we're also seeing celebration coming up. So if you can get through this next phase, don't isolate yourself too much. However, use that time to ground, recenter, um, reorganize. Okay. And don't like share your moves with anybody. Just kind of make your plans, keep it in silence and keep that criticism to a minimum. There you have it, Pisces. I am going to pull a card for you from a divination of the ancients. Like subscribe, share, let me know where you are in the world and how you felt your, felt your reading went. Hydromancy. Let's see what this has to say for you, Pisces. And it says illusion. Okay, here we go. So you may receive an offer that sounds too good to be true. Remember that appearances can be deceptive. Like we were just talking about, the items that look perfect sometimes aren't. Don't be fooled by enticing words and promises as they could lure you into false hope. Your dreams will be realized, but not through this particular channel. Instead, call upon your spiritual sight, your clairvoyance, clear seeing, to enable you to see the full picture. When you shine light onto the situation, clear thinking, isolation, privacy, <laughs> you'll, it'll enable you to see the full picture. And when you shine light onto the situation, areas of darkness will be revealed. Don't be scared, but relieved. For you have been saved from drowning in dangerously dark and murky waters. Tread water for a while, and soon enough, your wishes will be answered. The incantation, I look beyond the shallow end, and are they foe or perhaps a friend? With eyes now sharp, I see the light. No longer fooled, I know what's right. Good luck to you, dear Pisces. I will see you guys next week, or catch me on the live. Have some patience with yourself. Mercury retrograde can be an M effort. Okay? Be kind to one another, and most importantly, be kind to yourself. Give yourself some grace, because this is not easy. Love and light, guys. See you next time.